<sighs> hey, hey family. Hey, today is January the 4th. Today is Thursday. It's about 10.45 in the a.m. And I came on to do a, a quick video right quick for my boys, for my men, for my gentlemen, the brothers that watch my channel. Um, and so this is about them. So girls, if y'all want to kick it, Barbara, if all y'all cool, no problem. Jennifer, you straight? Loretta, you good? Okay, this is for my boys. And But y'all need to hear this shit, though, on some real shit because this is some real prevalent shit that's going on right now that y'all motherfuckers need to be on top of. Real shit. Okay, y'all ready? Okay. So then therefore, we ain't gonna kick nobody out because everybody might want to roll with it. Anyway, um, brothers, I'm starting to see that y'all really getting sick of our motherfucking ass. You know, and for the longest time, a lot of y'all have been in marriages, been like, you know what, one, you know what, one day, I'm going to leave this fat ass. I'm leaving your fat ass one day. You done told me what I can eat, what I can do, where I can't go, how to drive, what I can wear, how to spend my money, you know what I'm saying, what I can and can't do, and all this old, and when I can and can't get no pussy, bitch, I'm sick of your motherfucking ass. I done gave you 15 goddamn years of my life, bitch, I'm sick of your motherfucking ass. You thought I was going to never leave your motherfucking ass, and you know what, I'm, this is it, I'm out of this motherfucker. I'm going to truck driving school, I'm getting my shit together, bitch, and I'm leaving your ass. I'm, nigga, I'm going on the road, fuck it. Um, I see that now it's a lot of you guys are really starting to leave. And really, I can't say I'm not mad, you know, because we as, we as women, some of us have, you know, let ourselves go and shit, not really giving a fuck no more, still want to talk to you like you ain't shit, slap you around and shit, slap you in the motherfucking face and shit, use our pussy as a punishment, all kinds of shit. Women is doing a lot of shit nowadays. I got it. But the thing is, I'm going to tell you one reason why women are to the point where they don't give a fuck and they just have no filter. The reason why is because a lot of times women feel like um, you're not stepping up to the plate as a man for them and for the family and what it is that they need. And when a woman feel like she cannot depend on you, learn from you, or be sheltered by you or taken care of by you, she tend to lose respect for you, you know? So that's a lot of things. And see, a lot of times, too, women want a man that's going to smell good. So that means you got to have your hygiene up and shit. You got to have the motherfucking nails and shit clean. Real square business. I mean, I'm, I'm your girl and I'm just, tell, I'm just telling you. You got to be clean. And see, a lot of times women don't know how to tell you that, you know what I'm saying, your oral... Ain't cool, you know what I'm saying? Your breath, your teeth, your hygiene ain't right. You need a bath, you need to cut your hair, you need to clean them motherfucking nails. Because, see, the thing is, <clears throat> brothers, fellas, let me tell you. You know, I understand, We and we know that y'all like to, you know, y'all like a woman that smell good and soft and shit. And when we smell good and we soft and we cuddly and shit, because right now it's cupcake season, you know what I'm saying? Everybody want to be up under somebody, you know what I'm saying? So, but the thing is, and we ain't got no problem with y'all being up under us and shit, but if your motherfucking breath and shit ain't right, your hands and shit is dirty, your clothes and shit is dirty, we don't, you know, I mean, because this is, look what we bring in. You know what I'm saying? Some of us is coming to the bedroom fully bathed, pussy probably shaved, you know what I'm saying? pH balance is on deck. You know what I'm saying? We ready to go. We done, you know what I'm saying? We done put our hair all up, got a little lip gloss and shit on, then spritz and shit behind the ears and all this, behind the kneecap, done put some shit right here around and put some case you go around that region. You know what I'm saying? We done done all this whole type of shit. And y'all motherfuckers gonna just done came in from being gone all goddamn day and you wanna get in the bed with the, with the day on you. How in the fuck you gonna get in the bed and y'all motherfuckers take shits about two or three times a day, men do. Some women don't take shits all day like that. But men do because y a lot of y'all tend to eat a lot of meat and shit. So then therefore that kind of shit run through you a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Y'all eat a lot of bullshit. Y'all mix liquor with it and all kind of shit that some men do. The reason why y'all insides just got to cut it loose. You know what I'm saying? We understand. But hell, up under your nuts and shit, right up under there, it's called the uh, perineum. It's just exactly one inch from your nuts to your motherfucking ass. From your asshole to your anus. You know what I'm saying? All up under there, it be sweaty and dirty and all that shit. Because, see, first of all, if you don't hit that shit regularly, it be wrong and shit. 
That's how you have the draws with the streaks in the machine because you got to constantly. See, we as women, we have to hit our ass all day because every time we pee, you know what I'm saying? Especially, well, some of us that are actually really clean, you know what I'm saying? We don't have that kind of perineum issue. But, you know, the perineum can be the, that right there. That's where the, the shit be spanking at because that's the part that need to be motherfucking clean. And after sweat and shit, and ain't no heat and funk and shit, and ain't no air done hit through and all that old type of shit, but now you want to come in and, nigga, you want to be finger-banging my motherfucking ass? Nigga, look at your hands and shit. Didn't you and Taiwan and them, didn't y'all motherfuckers just put in put some brakes on the cat like yesterday? How in the fuck you want to come in here after working on that motherfucking cutlass and shit? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we had to put a new altar in on the motherfucking glass house down the street. Okay, well, if you done done that shit, nigga, uh, look at your nails and shit. I'm seeing Lucas, Pennzoil, all this shit all around your goddamn cuticles, all up under this shit, all up in the... And you want to put all this on me? And then you be wondering why my skin is this or whatever or my pH balance and shit is thrown off because your hands aren't clean and you want to be rubbing on all this right here. Fellas, I'm just saying, I understand that y'all leaving us now. I got it. <clears throat> Your girl understands. Because some women do take, take it overboard and shit. And it's like you become one of the kids. They want to talk to you disrespectfully. Want to talk to you, you know what I'm saying, out in the stores. Basically telling you to shut the fuck up. You know what I'm saying, in front of folks and shit. Want to be disrespectful. Who is that? Oh, I thought somebody came in my room. Excuse me. All right. So, yeah, I mean, you know, I mean, uh, come on. I got it. You know what I'm saying? Y'all motherfuckers is filing for divorce now quicker than we are now sometimes. A lot of brothers, too. You know, because see what Anthony Anderson, he, you know what I'm saying? That motherfucker said fuck it. You know? And now I see uh, Day Day motherfucking um, Mike Epps, he done said fuck it. You know? Chris Rock, he done said fuck it. A lot of dudes is just saying fuck it. Look, check this out. I'm through, shit, bitch. Uh, go ahead on, figure it out. How much I got to get a kid, shit, fuck it, you know? And so, and, and women are still thinking, oh, well, shit, girl, I got his mind, honey. I'm all in his mind, honey. I'm in his conscious, shit. I think he think about me in his sleep, and he ain't going to never leave me, shit, girl. The way I fuck him, girl, the way I put him to sleep, girl, he ain't going to never, girl, he ain't going to never leave me, girl. Oh, shit, girl, I'm in his mind, girl. His mama love me. He ain't going to never leave me. I done been through all the shit to Shinola with this motherfucker all while this nigga was on parole. When his mama died, shit, I was going all through, through back and forth with his ass when he was in this car accident. Shit, helped the nigga when he had a stroke. None of that shit ain't gonna mean a motherfucking thing if the respect has been lost and a man can only deal with that shit for so long. He's gonna only deal with that shit for so long. You can disrespect a motherfucker for just like with us. I mean, after a while, we like, you know what? Man, look, fuck all this right here shit. Look, nigga, look, I'm gonna go on tag and get me a new goddamn nigga. Fuck all this shit because this nigga tripping. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucker gonna get some act right in the next couple of weeks when that earn income credit show up. I bet you that. Shit, I bet you I got to find that motherfucker in when these motherfuckers say, well, can I, can I just go on 15, get 1500 you know what I'm saying, throw that on a twist and kind of double our money back on that mama. Can I just go on and get 1500 I'm gonna double our money. You know what I'm saying? That's when y'all motherfucking asses show up. Y'all know when to show up, don't you? When the goddamn food stamps hit the card, y'all motherfuckers be all in the grocery store. We need bank with chicken. Uh, we need all right of fries. I want the extra crispy ones. Fuck the just regular crinkle ones. I want the ones that's seasoned to go with it. Uh, yeah, we gonna need some, uh, I need some craft cheese. Fuck that other cheese. That shit don't melt right. I need the right kind. Oh, uh, I, I eat seven grain bread. I want seven grain bread. See, you always want to come in here with that bullshit, nigga. I want some butter top down the middle. If y'all niggas don't stop it right Right now, having all these women down there buying all kind of Alaskan king crabs and shit around the third of the month and shit, because y'all motherfuckers realize that she done got her food stamps and shit in. Y'all wrong for that motherfucking shit. I see y'all niggas in the store all the goddamn time. Braids be going to the back, goddamn pants and shit, pants hanging down. Y'all motherfuckers be pushing the cart and shit be the main one. Uh, we need some steaks, preferably ribeyes in this motherfucker. We need some of that right there. But they got top ramen on aisle seven. You might want to get two cases for the kids. If y'all niggas on knock it off right now. You see what I'm saying? See, because we done been letting y'all get away with a whole bunch of shit for a long motherfucking time too. You know what I mean? Now see, we've been cooking y'all motherfuckers T-bones and been fixing fish sticks and shit for the kids. You know what I'm saying? 
See, it didn't start off like this. For a minute, we was putting y'all motherfuckers first until y'all started taking advantage of the situation, you know? And then now, now it's a drawn-out, big-ass bullshit. Now she disrespecting you. You low-key want to fuck with somebody else, but you know this bitch is crazy. She done already got your phone low-jacked and shit. Then figured out which way you go to rock you come on with. She done figured out who you text message around 3 30 every day. All that old type of shit. So you low-key scared. So it's like, you know what, I really want to leave this bitch, but this bitch is crazy. I had to get a restraining order and all kind of shit on this bitch, because I'm going to be worried, man. Fuck that shit. I know my woman, and she crazy as a motherfucker. I want to leave this bitch right now. I want to leave her tonight, nigga. Can I stay with you? Because I want to leave this bitch so motherfucking bad. Cynthia told me I can come over there with her, but goddamn, her and Cynthia be fighting and shit. I don't want to be dealing with all that motherfucking shit, but goddamn, her pussy good, though. Damn, man. She got a good pussy. If she would just fuck me and be quiet, man, we can live from here on to now. But this bitch want to open her mouth, though. This bitch got an opinion about every motherfucking thing. I'm sick of this bitch. She done gained 100 pounds since I've known her. Nigga, that was in 87 when you met this motherfucker, nigga. What you think? She done had four motherfucking babies and shit. How the fuck you think her body's supposed to look? You know what I mean? It's not like you was providing such an income where the bitch can go get a tuck or two. So, hell, this is what it is. But now you can't compare her to motherfucking what well, Beyonce can dance in heels. How come you always got these flip flops on every time I turn around and shit? You got these motherfucking goddamn Dr. Show shoes and shit on, but Beyonce can do all this shit in these motherfuckers. Nigga, if you don't knock it off right now, goddammit, I'm here to tell the truth. Somebody got to. But I understand why y'all motherfuckers is leaving and why y'all motherfuckers is checking out. Because, see, one thing. Them niggas don't want to share their new money with these with these motherfuckers that they was once married to. Them motherfuckers have said, look, check this out. Now, I done just signed this contract to do this new motherfucking movie. I don't want to share my motherfucking money with this bitch. So, let's go on and get that paperwork started. So, up until that date where it's filed, now that bitch is subjected to get half of that right there. But all this new motherfucking money nigga about to come in too, nigga, this is all mine, nigga. I'm buying me a new motherfucking car. I'm going to fuck around, nigga. It's okay. She can have the house. I'm going to go and get me a small pad over here off of Wilshire Boulevard some motherfucking way. Then in there for hell. But I want me a boat. I want me a badass car. You know what I'm saying? Nigga cool on clothes. You know what I'm saying? Shit, I want me some new shit anyway. You know, go get me a new nigga. I might go get me some hair plugs. All kind of shit. Fuck it. You know? So, uh, you know, I get where niggas is coming from nowadays. Niggas want to have a good time, too. Men want to have fun, too. And, you know, they talk about our change in life, but they have a little change that they go to, too. You know what I'm saying? Because then the motherfuckers want to fuck around. Nigga, you ain't never dated nobody at 33 and all of a motherfucking son. Nigga, sit your old ass just for men motherfucking ass down, nigga. Uh, while you dying shit, nigga, die the taco meat, nigga, and up under your nuts, too, nigga, it's gray under there, too, die them motherfuckers, too, until then, nigga, cut all that shit off, nigga, because it's still, everything, everything is not all 100, nigga, you know, yeah, because, see, that's, we gotta hit you with her, yeah, so all them texts that she said when you first try to leave her, Oh, she gonna try to fuck up your manhood at that point in time, tell you that your dick was no good, you really can't eat no pussy, your shit, you know, nigga, while you doing this right here, nigga, you got a receding hairline, nigga, your shit is almost on some bozo. They want to say all this shit about you because now, wait a minute, he really leaving me. This has been my shelter, he's been my scapegoat, he's been my best friend, my best nigga. You know what I'm saying? He's been my bank account. He's been my everything. And now this motherfucker's gonna go. Now what am I gonna do? Now, girls, that's when I help you pick up the pieces, mama. And I'm gonna hold a light while you go through your path. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna tell you what you need to do. Before all this shit right here takes place, you need to know what you need to be doing to prevent such a catastrophe where it's just gonna change the rest of your life for the rest of your life. So that is why I'm constantly telling you guys to start preparing for things that may happen in your life. This man might not be able to deal with you for another five. You know what I'm saying? He regretting that he done already been to here all this length of time. You know, so girls, you might want to be a little bit on top of what's going on, really. And fellas, hey, you know, I understand y'all get tired. So anyway, I just wanted to come in and get my spin on it. I love you guys. I hope you guys for watching. Bye.